uh, obviously if he can come off, it opens the ground up. So obviously get our speed going here at Kapunda. Uh, Angerson, four goals, four. We've got Kapunda on one behind. How many minutes go on, Michael? How's your clock going? Unfortunately, my monitor's just down at the moment. Our cameraman is working feverishly to try and get that working. I don't. You'd imagine it'd be halfway through the quarter from yes. that, that clearance, and we've got a ball up a little bit north of and the centre circle. See Tom Ryan, one of the Angerson defenders, taking himself out of that contest. He's on his 28th birthday today. Free kick paid to Angerston. Advantage could have been paid, but people hesitated. Get down, George. We'll have another ball up here, I'd imagine. No uh, prior there for Reinke. That's Jacob Heinze in hard and on top. With the tap was Adams, but it to Kapunda. Whistler with a sweeping handball, but uh, only as far as... Who was that for Angerson? Clarkson, I believe. Yeah, Carey, was it? Brady. And we've got a goal from Kapunda. Samuel Pratt. Samuel Pratt. Oh, the great man. The Lord Mayor of Pratt Town. Oh, so you'll be talking about that one tonight, boys. we will be talking about that for weeks. <laughs> Much needed goal for Kapunda. Puts him on the scoreboard now. Scoreboard reads four goals, four to a one goal, one. 28 plays, seven here at the Kapunda Oval. So much for a decoy forward. Round 17 of uh, the BNL G season. 25 minutes into the first quarter, I've just been informed, okay. Keith. Well, it's gone long, quicker than we thought then. In an action packed quarter. Yeah, Kapunda would love another one before the siren, though. We'll see where the Angerston. I think the key is look for Sam Pratt. Angerson with their best four in the, in the circle. Shannon, Argent, Summerton and Borholm. Whistler with a tap. Whistler, Good long too hit. much height. He's tackled by Jay Shannon, brought to ground. Goes into the dead pocket as we know it. But the siren stops the play. And uh, the quarter time score here at Kapunda Over will be Angerson, four goals, 428. Kapunda, 117 points. Goal kickers for Angerson are singles to Durden, Eberhard, Borholm, and Tuckle. And for Kapunda, their lone goal kicker is Sam Pratt. Yes, excellent first quarter of football. This is exactly what we were hoping for, isn't it? Real tough, hard country footy. Absolutely, it takes absolutely. I just this, think uh, Angerson just set a little bit better than Kapunda at the moment. I actually envy the people sitting at home in comfort watching this on the live stream because they're seeing a cracking game of football. What's the way today, you think? Where's the goal kicking in, Brad? Uh, is, it, is it the top end? Quite often Normally it is. it is the top end, normally. Yeah. Um, this pocket down here, this, this side near the trotting track is a little bit, uh, you don't really see too many goals down this side, so um, I'd say, yeah, top end, mate. Uh, you seem to have trouble with the depth when you're going down that way. You always have, even in my junior days, I can remember that. In the late 1800s. That's in the mm. late 1800s, game 100 of the 300 versus <laughs> Angston versus Kapunda. I've seen a lot of them. And Think of a lot of them. I did check the stats with the great statistician earlier. Angerson have won 160 of those. Kapunda 134, and five draws. Yep. Sensationally, in 1977, there was a draw in the grand final and a replay. Uh, Angerson won the replay. Sensational season that year. Newry undefeated until the last round, and then uh, didn't even make the grand final. A lot of tears over that, Brad. It would have been. Okay, we've got some scores from around the grounds. Currently at quarter time, Gawler Central three goal two twenty, leading Neary one goal two eight. Okay. And that's another result. Gawler Central desperately needing to win after losing to Angus in last well, week. I don't think they can make it now. I, I don't think they can, but if results go their way, anything is possible in this season. Twenty twenty one cannot be predicted. Well, a lot of us didn't uh, put Newry in the mix as teams firing for a place in the finals. Uh, they're sitting reasonably comfortable in second. And I think most of us chalked us in as a win to Newry, and it's at 
I think it's at Newry too, isn't it? Anywhere else? Not as yet. Not as yet. Uh, how long has your association been with the Kapunda Club, Brad? Uh, I, I come out to Kapunda probably around, I think, 2012 I come out to Kapunda. Um, played a bit of, obviously, junior footy down at Centrals and uh, was down there for about four or five years and then uh, found a way down to Kapunda um, and then been here ever since. I was only going to come here for a couple of years and yep. fell in love with the culture and it's a so real family orientated club, which I really enjoyed. And you live in the town or you live... Uh, I've, got, I've got a house here, but I'm actually living down Henley Beach at the moment. Right, eh? So, um, getting well, you can give Rod Everhart a lift then. Yeah, I can help him out. Yeah. So, uh, getting the best of both worlds. So, I've gone from a gone from a duck pond to a, uh, a beach. So Okay. Uh, and while we've got you, just before play begins again, you've taken over the reins of the Kapunda Under-17s, who in the last few years have been starved of success. And you've managed to turn the ship around with a little bit of a culture change in the juniors. Yeah, yeah, Tex. So I think um, this year, I'm getting a bit older now, mate. I'm near, heading towards 30 now, so... Uh, the next step for me is to get into coaching, and um, this year I know the under-17s, and obviously been involved with the club for ten or so years now. That uh, it's always tough trying to get the juniors to come through, and I just felt obviously with Fraser coming in involved with the A grade and having a few chats with Fraser, over a few coffees down Henley Beach. Um, he talk, kind of had to talk me into coaching, and uh, I've really thoroughly enjoyed it. And obviously this year the boys have had four wins, and I think it's, we haven't had multiple wins in Kapunda under-17s since 2015 or 14. So, yep, um, really Aye. good, and the lads are really enjoying their footy, which is the positive thing. And hopefully they can come through and play some senior footy because they are the future. So, well, that's the idea of the of it all to get them uh, to like the game enough they go on and play seniors. Yeah, and that's it. And, and it's a huge positive for the competition as a whole to see the. Th- Clubs like Kapunda getting their junior strength back. Yeah, absolutely. So hopefully in the next year or two, we'll see some uh, some finals footing the juniors, hopefully. As first contest of the second quarter, neither Ruckman able to really get close to the ball. Anderson smashing the ball forward. Kapunda able to clear the ball out now, heading to the outer side. Just eludes the player out there. It was Tyrell Hocking, just missed. Well, his arms aren't very long. <laughs> And just ball out. So we'll have a throw in on the Angerson half forward flank. Been in some really good form, young Tyrell. So he's one to watch there, so for the bomber. It's Whistler and Ball. The ball swings towards the pack. Plenty of hands went up, and uh, the ball won't go anywhere. Too many legs and bodies around there. We have a throw up in a similar position. Whistler with a tap, he tapped it backwards. And Looking for the Kapunda player behind the, the circle, but uh, can't find him now. It's Hood with a quick handball over to Raisler. He's flattened. Comes back to Hood on his left boot. High kick, chip kick. Uh, dirt underneath it couldn't mark. Eberhard's there for Ganks. It looks like Evans will bring it out. Kapunda should move the ball out through Aiden Mudge. Mudge takes the mark on the true centre wing in front of Canelli. His little chip kick is taken by Hayden Robinson. Hayden Robinson. He's in front of the coaches' boxes here at Kapunda Oval. Ryan on the mark. Goes down the line, looking for White Ryan. Um, Strong mark taken by Jay Shannon, floating back in defence. Shannon now going across the face of goal. With a good cross, finding his teammate out there. Ben Antoni with a quick left foot kick in, finds Jacob Fiebiger, who pushes out to the wing. Finds a player in space. Unfortunately, trying a little bit of fancy footwork steps over the line. So we'll have a boundary throw in on the outer wing. I don't think Ryan would have been happy with that delivery. He had the front spot and uh, kicked over his head to the man waiting behind. It's one of the hardest spots in our foot. Yep. As Angerson with a quick backhand ball finds Jay Shannon who drives the ball forward. And a free kick going Kapunda's way. Quick handball to the running player. Looking for a player in the middle of the ground that goes over his head. Raisler able to come back onto the ball he missed. Gets the handball backwards to Fiebiger. Chain of handballs now leads to Angerson going forward and a strong body mark taken there in defence for Kapunda. It's Maxi Neville. Maxi, he's a monster. Just chips across face of goal. Buying a bit of space and time for the bomber. Called to play on. 
Long kick down the line. Looking for Whisper Wyatt Ryan. Front. Ryan come from behind. Kicked out of the pack by uh, Hocking. Only as far as Ben, ben Antony. Antony for Angerston. He's in front of our commentary point here at Angerston Oval. He's trying to avoid a mud patch. Uh, plenty of op people calling for it, but not sure whether they're all good options. Um, taking finds the mark. his brother yep. with another great mark. Two weeks in a row, he's taken a big flyer on the half forward flank. No, it's reverse. Free kick uh, to uh, Fraser Evans here. Got Drake Fraser Evans held out by Alex Reinke, I believe. Evans has seen plenty of the ball. And that's really where Evans' value comes in. His ability to read the play and be in the right spot, isn't it, Brad? Absolutely. Takes exactly. the pressure off everyone else in that back line. Correct. Just a cool, calm um, player back there for us and real, real leader back there for our young defenders. A high kick coming out of defence to, to the wing. To the ben big Ben Antonio, the big flyer, comes down to Hood with a quick kick forward to the advantage of his teammates, unfortunately. Well defended by the bomber. Fraser Evans now pushing out of the Great 50. Kick. Great kick to the wing, but unfortunately doesn't find anyone. Well, it was all bombers out there. The bounce didn't fade them at all. Unfortunately, Kapunda, if they'd managed to find a target there, they were out. And it would have been very hard for Angerson to stop them scoring. So on with a two-handed tap. Pushed. Angerson get the ball forward. Taken by Argent. Argent's kick to Clarkson. Clarkson. He chips forward, but unfortunately another kick straight to a Kapunda defender. Clearing the ball out now. That's Jay Meany. Long searching kick across the ground was looking for number 24 in and Hayden Ben Robinson. Antony able to break that up. Nick Fallon over the ball. He's thrown to the ground. Ball spills clear. And uh, not going to get out of there once again. And Borg wrapped up immediately as soon as he took the ball there. So we'll have a ball up by umpire Higginbottom on the probably almost the half forward flank for the Panthers yet again. Whistler goes really early, comes down and is still able to tap the ball. Jay Shannon on top of the pack there and gets a little shove off for his trouble. Can be quite antagonistic at the stoppages, can he, Key? Oh, he plays a bit vigorously. Clarkson no, just thrown out of that others. contest. A quick high kick coming out this way. Will be a miracle anyone marks that. That's a great mark. That is very courageous there. Borg. Harry Watke. Harry Watke, sorry. Really courageous. Little kick out to the boundary. Play on call. Down the line. Brian sets himself in front. Phoebe tries to get the ball out to Shannon. Ball's still in play here right on the bang line. Raisler handballs to Fibiger. He's cleared and dispossessed. Kicked by uh, Harry Watke. smothered off the boot. Ball bounces clear. Shannon's there for Angston. He's over the top of Josh Dodd, but uh, ball not coming out. We have another free kick here. Have we? Do you point? No, ball no, up. I believe it's just a ball Throw up. Throw it up. Yeah, Stay mate. Whistler. Whistler Borholm. gets the jump on Borholm again, but There's the ball Shannon. comes down to Shannon. Quick kick forward and a big strong mark taken by Evans, coach to coach. That big left foot of, Sh of Fraser going forwards again. Kapanda, disappointing kick forward there, well, but it's, it's going to work beautifully. He was in front. <laughs> Please note, he was in front. <laughs> Jay Meaney, just yep. impressive. Took the game on and well, it paid he was, off. He was in front and it was a poor kick, but he still was able to gain possession. If it had been a slightly better kick, it would have hit him on the chest. That's right. He was in the perfect position either way. Ball in in the outer side in Kapunda's forward 50. A rare forward entry for the Bombers this quarter. Clarkson, Shannon, oh sorry, Fallon, bouncing in front of Eberhard. He's got a few yards on his man. Squirts a handball over to Jaden Antony. Jaden Antony's a long kick and fires it up towards the goal line and kicks the first score of this second half. How many go? How many minutes gone? We are Michael? seven and a half minutes into the second quarter of a fantastic contest here at Dutton Park in the BLG match of the day. 
Uh, moves Angston on to 5 4 34. Angston 1 1 7 points. Yeah, long time without a Kapunda score. Kapunda 1 1 7. Kapunda haven't scored yet this quarter. They've not really looked threatening to score this quarter. Where can they get a spark from, Brad? I just think uh, it's very stagnant in our forward line at the moment. Um, we're getting a lot of touches across the back line. Uh, midfield starting to get a little bit of uh, intensity lifting the ground there. But I uh, just think up forward, we're just not putting the right positions and obviously not helping Big Wide or Prady up forward there. Perhaps the need to generate some one-on-ones up forward is something that you haven't been able to get. No, they've, they've been very good, the Angus and defenders. They're uh, coming across and doing a lot of two-on-ones there. So us uh, as a bomber forwards, we've got to be there uh, to help, uh, help the big lads out. Ball on with a ruck, looking for Summerton, Summerton with the clearance. What are the clearance numbers looking like, Brad? Uh, Angerston here, they have uh, five and Capunda two, the centre clearances. So definitely uh, on top, Angerston are. Good mark in the middle there. Meany. Meany again, it comes out to this side. Robinson, is it? Robinson spun around a couple of times, but able to get the handball out. Oh, oh, very lucky yeah, not very to get a free kick there for in the back. Nick <laughs> Fallon jumping on his opponent. Very agricultural. It'll be Whistler and Boam again. Whistler with the tap, big tap towards uh, Dodd. Dodd twists and turns, then gets the kick away. Uh, bounces in front of the Kapunda forwards. They're in good position here if they can keep the ball in play, but they won't be able to. Really desperate tackle there by John Raisler. Takes... Kapunda opponent over the boundary with the ball. If he hadn't managed to stick that tackle, Kapunda were in. Throw in. Right between half forward and the pocket right outside. Kapunda going to the trot and track in. Angus Radham's in the ruck now. Chain of handball sees Razor at the end. He kicks the ball across ground, putting in the in the face of Ryan Canelli, but Reinke's the first one there. Clever tap to Canelli. Canelli inboards it into the corridor where Riley Bourne should be the first one to it. He'll go back out wide. Uh, if he finds Canelli, it's a good play by Canelli to keep running. Good gut running Outs there on the outside. Outside his distance, I feel. So I don't know whether the Kapunda defenders know that. but Definitely uh, outside. He's going to have to look for someone here. Well, there's a big hole between the goal line and players across half forward. Plenty of room for people to move into, but nothing's Maxie happening. Maxie Neville back in the goal square, though. So, Borholm's in the square. You've got to remember that. Yes, Max Neville with him. That's all right. Big White's got back there now. Is it? No, no one marks it. Didn't attempt to kick it off the ground. I thought uh, White had to run at it there. It looked like it. So, a minor score for the Panthers. Evans to bring it out now. He's looking towards this camera position side well, you waiting straight for a good down option the quick chip kick out into the pocket finds it Tyrell Hocking Hocking now goes inwards finds Jacob Heintze who's now still trying to work away out of defence uh, really risky kick there comes off They're trying to keep possession and unfortunately they've coughed it up with John Razor able to take an intercept mark, he kicks inwards, looking for a teammate, and he's found, it looks Tom like, Jackman. Tom Jackerman, another young player in the Panthers lineup. He's got a reasonable kick. He's a distance, shouldn't be too much of a problem here, should it, Keith? Yeah, but can, oh, he's about an 80%, I reckon. Um, been on the bench most of the game so far. Jackerman moves in. That looks pretty good. He's made a liar of me. He's and that's put that a very solid kick. He's very reliable in front of goals, the young fella. So another goal for Angerston. They move on to six goal five, 41. To Kapunda, still one goal one on the Grant Burge Wine scoreboard here in the BLG match of the day. Three kicks. We have seven to five in favour of Angerston at the moment. They have really had no influence on the game at all. No, the only times we've mentioned the umpires is at the ball-ups. And they're all your mates, Michael? You used to be on the umpires committee? Yes, yeah. uh, the umpires are a Gravy key part of cool. the game. Okay. And Free <laughs> barbecues. <laughs> Someone has to do it. Yeah. Gee, I wish that had been the case. <laughs> I would have been there more often. Adam the with a two-handed tap. 
finds Eberhard who's in the middle. Eberhard's kick will be long. Has he found a target? No. In the way, looks like Evans. Evans, Evans goes straight across goals. Finds Cam Matters who can Cam run. Matters. Matters brings it down the line. Anyone in front here for Kapunda? Pack is smashed, but that'll be a push in the back. Go the way of Kapunda. It's kind of what? I think John Razor might have been the offender there, but he's cheekily run away to leave someone else on the mark. An inboard kick there finds Robinson. Robinson who kicks long. Big, long kick. Direct kick. Quick kick. Good play, Hayden Robinson. Kapunda should be able to make something out of this. They've got the numbers down Ryan there. And hacked the ball out, but it's unfortunately gone out on the full. Bit of pushing. Just Is get it out on the each full other. Or throw I think in it's Mike. a throw in, boys. Right forward pocket, right next to the Maybe goal a post. throw in, Point yes. Post. Kapunda's chance to make something happen. And with the way Whistler's been getting his hand to the ball, they really could get this. They'll be Ryan in the ruck. Gore taken high. Oh, foolish tackle by John Ryan. John Razor. John Razor, sorry. So it gives up an almost certain goal to the Bombers. A little bit shorter, but I think he could have tackled better than that. And Borg's been a very handy goal kicker for the Bombers this year. Pops up at important times. Not a bulk goal kicker, but gets the important goals. In a Desperate. couple of close games, he's popped up just when it matters. Desperately needed by the Bombers. They're not out of the game, but uh, the gap is four or five goals. He's kicked it. Yeah, easy, easy kick. Casual approach, bang straight through the middle. First goal to Brody Borg. Second goal to the Kapunda Bombers. They move on to two goals, one, trailing Angston 6-5. Difference of 28 points here at the Kapunda Oval. Round 17. Almost 15 minutes played in the second quarter. Yep. Still perhaps not as many goals kicked today as I thought there would have been by now. No, it's it's def both defences have been uh, held up pretty strongly today. Yeah. Um, I think uh, obviously Kapunda just gone a bit more sideways, whereas Angst a bit more direct. Um, but yeah, defence, both sides are holding up strong. Yes, two teams with... Probably unheralded names in their defence, but really solid, honest defenders. Absolutely. It'll be Kapunda with the clearance, straight down the centre. Looks like a little bit of a push out by Tom Ryan, gets away with it, and he's got the mark. Zan Andrea moved into the back. middle of the ground now. Yeah, I was just going to say, Zan has moved up to the ground. Looks just for Rosler out wide. Rosler plays on. Handballs to Miles, who's in trouble. Oh, play on called. Could have quite easily be holding the ball. It should be Kapunda now. We've got an attack here on the overrun. Bailey, through Bailey Jones. Bailey Tom Jones, Ryan getting in. 51 on my 51, sheet, but he's got 18 on, <laughs> looks like, yes. Yeah. Tom Anything Ryan desperately old, got it to the front of the contest data. and took a mark <laughs> under pressure. Got crunched for his troubles. Just say happy birthday to Tommy. Great lad of the competition. Happy birthday. Yes, 28 today. 28. Tom Ryan, okay. Yeah. So you at Central's with him? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Played with both the Ryan boys. Yeah. Miles just took a mark. Great characters. Now kicks inboard. Finds Riley Argent. One of the elite disposals of the Angus and football side. Goes in the middle and just mucked up on the mark there. Ball comes back to Miles with a handball. Tom Ruth. Ryan with the left foot. Fraser Evans puts come that out, mark down. Oh, come out. Durden come out of that. How do you do that? Riley Bourne Houdini. drives the ball forward. Goes over the top of Shannon. Ball Ball I'm trying to pick it up off the deck now and gets bowled over. Now wrapped up in a tackle. And he's in the perfect position for the next ruck contest. Bourne with a tap. Some of them with a shot. Riley Bourne comes to the bench, replaced by Dylan Tuckwell. One of the goal kickers in today's game so far. First score to Steve Summerton in the game. He loves to kick a goal. Evans go, looks like he's going to go down the outer side this time. Kicks it right to me. Looking for Wyatt Ryan. Had a big run at that bowl, but couldn't quite get his hands to it. There's Eberhard, but his kick intercepted by Callum Brown, is it? He goes inboard to Cameron Matters. 
Matters elects to go across the ground. He concedes a bit of Jacob ground. Heinze. He can't control it, but it's plenty of time to gather his kick and send it back. Sweeping through and has gone in the dead pocket where we can't see. But the Tom Ryan, the birthday boy, yeah. with another intercept mark. Hopefully his third for the game. Little well, kick, kick in board. Straight to him. Steve Summerton with the mark there. Now telling his players to clear out. Directing traffic as an experienced player should. Kicks it long to a big contest. And Cam Matt is able to run out of that contest easily. Robinson. Robinson now goes towards the 50 metre arc. Why? No. Pratty. Sam Pratt. Uh. Free kick, chance. play on, Free call. Free kick, and Jack Miles plays on to Fly, advantage. Finds Antony, Jaden that is. He kicks out looking for uh, Shannon. Punched away from him, but Shannon recovers it better. And He's Shannon grass and rolled over and there'll be a ball up. Left half forward. Ducked forward his head Panthers. into that contest. The only reason he didn't get a free kick. Good umpiring not to pay that. Ball up. Ryan gets the tap. Eberhard with look away. Handball finds Clarkson. Uh, Clarkson. Clarkson's kick to the goal square. Will it bounce through? Surely not. I reckon it has. Yes, yes it has. From the dead pocket, has kicked on the left. Probably did everything anti to what you really should have to kick that goal. That's uh, Harry Clarkson's first goal of the game. As we've almost played 20 minutes in the second quarter. And currently on the Grant Burge Wine scoreboard, Angus and 7 goal 6 48, leading Kapunda 2 goal 1 13. As the ball comes back to the middle, players just trying to catch their breath after what's been a fast paced game so far, boys. It, it has. Um, there's plenty of pace between the two half back lines, but I think, like um, Brad said here, it's not getting past the half back lines very easy. You've got Fraser Evans at. And Borholm with the at, back tap there. At one end, who's intercepting everything. Found Shannon. Tommy he goes backwards anyway. to find Summerton, driving the ball forward. Ball now ends up in a big pack. Probably 15 metres out from the Angus and goal directly in front. We'll have another ball up. Angus and putting all the forward pressure on once again. More than forward pressure. Uh, Stephen Summerton just, just lazily through, rolls in. There. Easily kicks a goal. No physical pressure on him that time at all. That's got to be really disappointing for a defender to watch, Brad. Very disappointing that was. To see a player of his calibre unchecked able to run through the contest. I think there'll be uh, yeah, some words said at halftime by um, Fraser. Just a bit of loose unchecking in the, in the deep in the forward lines there. Now, it really is getting worrisome for the Bomber now. They haven't managed to catch up any ground in this quarter. In fact, they've conceded a bit. Yeah, it was Dan Andrea into the middle could be a way to spark them because he hasn't had an impact up forward. Mm. I think Bomber's just looking for a bit of an X factor here. Um, I think hopefully Dotty here can uh, get himself into the game. And Borholm goes under that, so neither Ruckman able to touch the ball. No and taggers in Kapunda, does Fraser Evans got a tagging philosophy at all? Uh, not not as such. Uh, we will back ourselves in to uh, win the footy ourselves, but um, there's definitely a, a name or two before the game of each game, something we've got to be aware of. So, But no no such tagger. Kapunda go time. forward, unable to find a marking target. Now Jacob Phoebe wraps the Kapunda player up on the deck. Good strong tackling from the young man in his early in his senior career. Ball up about 25 metres out from the Kapunda goal. Ball on the, the tap. Chain of handballs by Angerson is thwarted. Comes out to Borholm. He can't pick it up. Picking it up off the ground. Borg. There's Borg and he kicks his second goal for Another the game. Another timely goal for the Bombers. Very timely. As they move to three goal, one, 25. Playing Angerson. Sorry, three goal, one, 20. Three goal, one, 19. 19. Playing Angerson, 8 goal, 6, 54 on the Grant Bergewine scoreboard. Brings it. He's been very good in defence. Is it perhaps time for Fraser Gehrig to inject himself into the middle? To Fraser Gehrig. Sorry, Fraser I'd love Evans. to see that happen. I'd, I'd love the G train to be at the we moment. Could, I would, but. <laughs> gee, we could get to put some money, uh, 
up the gate prices. Is what, it time yeah. for Fraser to inject himself into the middle and try and turn this game? Uh, probably something Fraser will look at doing, but uh, Fraser loves being the commander across the halfback flank there, so yes. I think he'll back our boys uh, into this. Hood slung out of that contest. The ball pops out to Miles. Drives the ball forward looking for Reinke. Capundra able to mop up. They come out. Might be someone like a Cam Matters can be injected in the midfield. Start across the ground, finds Connor White. Connor White will continue the across the ground and find Hocking. Hocking comes out wider again, where Bailey Jones has got it. His short kick looks very good off the boot. Finds Mudge, is it? Yeah, Aid Mudge. Yes. Mudge turns and fires the ball, takes it down low. A good forwards mark. Justin Zanandrea, the juice. Can't I can't see through the cameraman. That obviously wasn't a glass blower. Zan Andrea about to have a shot on goal, definitely within range and not too much of an angle to speak of. No, you're right. He's a noted first, goal kicker. Maybe his first chance to get one, I reckon. First shot on goal for the day for Kapunda's leading goal kicker for the season so far. Just to the And right unfortunately, side. the commentator's curse strikes again. I'm, I apologise, Juice. Just note, Brad, I did apologise for you that. You did, Teagues. I'll give you that. You apologised. 3 or 3 or is it 3 2 Three two twenty. Trading Angus and eight six fifty four. Round seventeen, crucial game for both clubs. Almost twenty five minutes gone season. in the second quarter. Nearly half time. Ball's gone out. Now you yeah. point of ruling here. If you play on and you kick it out of bounds and no one touches it, it's a throw in. If you kick it from the square, it goes out of bounds and no one touches. It's a free kick. Borholm playing for the free. Umpire's not interested. Half kick comes out wide. Handball finds Summit and Summit turns. Good vision. Sees a running Jaden Antoni. Jaden Antoni, centre forward, fires long for goal. Taken The mark taken by Durden. Turns around. Great rebound football there by Angerson. Wouldn't you agree, Michael? Yes, beautiful football to watch. Great connectivity for the Panthers. And that's just great football for anyone to watch, whether it's your team or the opposition. Well, some of them's vision there because he actually took the ball. His back was to Antony. He is one of the classiest players oh, to yes. ever come into this competition. Yep. Probably has one of the best resumes too, to have played over 200 oh, yep. league games for a club like Port Adelaide and captained them for a number of seasons. Is on oh. the list of legends at the club. I, th I think he's nearly the record captain, isn't he? Or modern year, anyway. Since they've had an AF AFL team, he would be. Yes, that's correct. And, is and dropped controversially for the grand final, Michael. Yes, he was, and that broke our hearts as supporters. And he is still much loved down at Alberton by the faithful. If you mention his name down there, they speak in revered tones. Whistler takes the ball out of the ruck himself, gets it forward. Strong for tackle by Ant Ben Antony this time. On your mate, Sean Bell. Yes. Dinger. Really. He's yours, isn't he? Really good tackle, though, from Antony. Good clean tackle. Gets a bit messy there under the foot and uh, we'll have a ball up as we come into something. the. Half time siren here, and Kapanda desperately need a goal here before the break. 26 and a half minutes gone in the second quarter. Someone had unloaded. Ball not going anywhere once again. Josh Dodd nearly buried. Soft turf down there, apparently, Brad. Very soft at the moment. Yep. The word was Kapanda over was unplayable on Monday. It, was, uh, it wasn't looking too good. Um, I know last week it wasn't in a good um, condition, but uh, thank God for the sun. It's just dried out just a little bit. And a bit of wind, yep. Um, centre area. Good All tap sorts there, of dire predictions about the centre area. Yes. yes. But that looks pretty good too. Uh, it looks all right at the moment. Um, I think it was a bit worrying last week. Tap one by Borholm, but the ball just knocked back into the stoppage. No team... Well, Angerson, there was no advantage for them to knock it out. Kapanda desperately trying to find a way to go here. Zan Andrea was the third man up there, going over the top of both Ruckman. Yes. 
Ryder Eberhard gets the ball, handballs backwards looking for Summerton. Summerton, classy, gets around his opponent. Handball forward, finds Argent. Drives the ball long to centre half forward. And Kapunda clearing now with a big high kick into the middle of the ground. Bell and Mudge underneath it, unable to take the mark as the siren goes. Signal half time in the match of the day. And the scoreboard reads Angus at 9 6 60, Kapunda 3 2 20. A difference of 40 points in favour of the Panthers. Goal kickers at the moment Jaden Antony, Jed Dern, Jade Antony with single, Jed Dern uh, with two goals. Harry Clarkson, Steve Summerton, Ryder Eberhard, Thomas Jackman, Mark Borholm and Dylan Tuckle all with singles. Brody Borg is a multiple goal kicker for the Bombers and the other goal kicker in the first quarter was Sam Pratt. And Keith, amazingly, I've got a score update from quarter time, the Freeling to Nunda game. The totals currently Freeling 26, to Nunda 19. Well, apparently uh, Freeling Oval is... No good. No, it is, yes. And it doesn't ago. help when the council send the water truck on the oval during a rainstorm to get rid of the water. <laughs> Fair story. Um, but yes, that would be one of the upsets of the century if Freeling can win their first game. Apparently of the oval is in really bad condition and perhaps if you kick early scores you might win the game. That's very possible and yep. Roger James would be trying to co coerce something out of his team. Just last gasp desperation to try and win a game. Well, good news for both these teams if that's how it pans out, but half-time only, so plenty of time to go in the game. Yes, Fraser Evans will be looking for answers from his men at half-time. As we see him walking off with his players now, he's in the middle of them. He's having a chat to a few. He's probably looking for something special from a couple of his star players. Well, he's been star himself. I think he's probably been Kapunda's best. Uh, others that have been energetic. Whistler in the ruck. Hayden Robinson has done a lot, particularly in that quarter, I thought was good uh, good around the ball and moving it forward. Brodie Borg with two goals. Uh, Tyrell Hocking, Hocking in and underneath. Um, plenty of contributors, but uh, really they're breaking down across half forward when uh, Angerson's defence has held out. And for Angerson, well, can't probably go past Jaden Antonio. I think he's gone very well. Out of defence, Tom Ryan. Tom Steve Summerton with, with the receiving the ball and getting the clearances around the stoppages. Jack Miles has taken some solid marks and Ryan Connelly's been influential. Yes, and there's a couple of players from Kapunda that I'm still hoping to see come into the game. Cam Matters has been a little quiet by his standards. He is a genuine star of the competition and I think he needs to have Picking an impact. Picking up Everhart, I think, isn't he? Yes, maybe well, they need Eberhard's to... Everhart's only kicked one goal. But maybe they need to take a risk and take... Matters away from that role and unleash him through the middle of the ground where he can be creative and damaging. Yeah, well, it's the uh, Kapundas, they've got to make the changes. Be yes. interesting to see what they do do. They can't stay defensive. He can't win the game for them from the back pocket. We'll be back after half time and we'll finish the match of the day then.
Okay, back at Dutton Park and starting the third quarter. Whistler with a clear tap. Uh, holding free kick paid Capunda's way. Cam Matters takes, plays the advantage, goes forward. Looking for a target. Unfortunately, just player underruns the ball. Angus unable to clear to the outer wing. Picks up. Looks like Clarkson with a handball inboard finds Ryan Carnelli. Kicks long to a tall forward in Durden. And then kick off the deck. Looks like. Just looking to see who that was on the replay. Jake Hood looks like kicked his first goal of the game. Sorry, it was a point. Kapunda clearing out this side on the camera wing. Out the full, sorry. So no score. Uh, ball's turned over now. Young Harry Clarkson taking a mark at half forward. Kicks, puts the ball out in front of Eberhard who flies but unable to bring the ball down. Kapunda looking to clear now. Running out towards the wing. Long kick going forward. Finds Wyatt Ryan diving. He takes the ball probably 60 metres from goal. I would say if the Bombers have any chance to get up in the second half here, boys, Big White's going to have a big second half. It's going to be the Wyatt Ryan show, you think? I think so. Boys. It needs to be. Look away handball by Miles. Finds Raisler, who finds Shannon, Shannon who kicks to the wing where over the top of Canelli. Cow Brown. Cow Brown. Uses his size advantage. Oh, to Fraser Evans. Fraser Evans straight up the ground. Finds Connor White. Connor White at the true centre four position for the Bombers. They're going to the town end. He's called to play on now. Gets a handball out to a running Fraser Evans. Left boot wide. Not, can't see A little see bit it. too wide. Puts it well out in front of his player. That's a dead pocket for Brad and myself. And boundary throw in now. Probably 35, 40 metres around from the Kapunda goals. Ball comes in. Big pack around the ball. Horn with the tap. In. But no clear winner. Angerson trying to clear, but the ball smothered. Kapunda with a chance on the rebound now. Ball comes out. Jay Shannon takes a mark. So looking for a tar leading target. He leads umpire's whistle, 25. Yes. So he takes that, plays on straight away. Finds Jaden Antony in the middle of the ground. Antony with handball off to Riley Argent on that left foot. Goes long. Big push in the back there by the Kapunda defender. D-I-V-E, I think. Uh, <laughs> no comment. There were definitely two hands there. but There were definitely two hands there. Definitely, if you're a smart forward, you do milk those. Of course you do. Absolutely, you have to. Even a smart defender would, Brad. Uh, this if is there is such a thing. No, Jed Durden is, is. lining up for his third goal. 32 for the season before this game. Has been quite a clever forward. Handy addition for the Panthers in 2021. That's a great kick. Third goal for Durden, and that moves him on to 35 for the season. Three goals for the game. Angerston, 10 goals, 6, 66. And Kapunda, 3, 2, 20. On the Grant Birds Wine scoreboard. That's right, you forgot to say that this week, Mike. I have been saying it repeatedly. Well, first time I've heard it. Brad? <laughs> Comment, Brad Williams? I, I, think, uh, I think I've heard it a couple of times, Stephen Takes. Okay. He's done it a few times. Thanks, Brad. You're welcome back. As we come back to the middle, Kapunda really looking to stem the tide now. Desperately need a goal just to get their momentum back. Big Aaron Whistler comes in. He gets the tap. Comes out Borg. to Borg. Quick handball to Zan Andrea. Around the corner, a long probing kick. Looking for White Ryan, who got his hands to it, but spoiled away. Nick Fallon now picking the ball up. Driving the Panthers forward down the outer wing. Plenty of loose blokes there for Angus. Shannon picked the ball up, handball onwards. But Kapunda now picking up. Harry Watke. Watke has been impressive at times today. 
Turns the ball back into the middle. Was well, Clarkson on the cricket pitch. He handballs backwards to Ryan. Ryan goes out wide to uh, Miles. Miles, long kick down the far side. Evans there in good position, but in front, not able to bring the ball down, though. Um, Fraser Evans looks to have the sit there, but the ball's gone to the ground and a ball up left half forward for the Panthers. But well defended by Evans. Made sure that his opponent didn't mark it, even if he couldn't. Uh, apparently, uh, Gawler Central still ahead of New Europe to just by the goal at half time. Free kick the way of Kapunda, right half back. Yes, that's correct, Keith. Half time. Gawler Central, 7 goal 4, 46. Neary, 7 goal 5, 47. So a one point lead to the Neary Tigers. Okay, is that half time or have they started? Time and currently at Freeling, an upset could still be on the ball. Total score Freeling 40 to under 44. Okay, but you'd think to under will eventually you would think, but wear it down and win. Do you believe in miracles? It's a crazy no. season. As yeah, well, Cam Matters in the middle of the ground, handball's back, and it's a long time since a, a BLG season's seen a side not win one game. And a grade during Mark the in the time. forward pocket there. It's a Hayden Robinson. Hayden Robinson. Looks he's like looking Hayden. for a lead. He's not going to have a shot here. He's looking for an, someone to dish the ball off to. Probably a good team play to do that. Well, I reckon the goal's wide and open enough for him to have a shot. Good off the boot. Drifts across the face, though. Makes Richie Mick can do a fair bit of work, and it's a minor behind for the Bombers. As opposed to the major behind. Thank well, you, sometimes cameraman. The, sometimes <laughs> a behind is very important. One point. A kick out wasn't able to be transitioned by Angerson. A big pack around the ball, half forward for the Bombers. And this Players is what Kapunda wants. I think there might have been a high tackle there. This is what Kapunda need, is constant pressure and keeping the ball in their forward half. If they can put pressure repeatedly on the Angerson defence, they've got a chance, haven't they, Brad? Absolutely. Who, who's that with the ball, Brad? Uh, young Liam Opitz. Okay, Opitz. Oh, Ryan, not too far off that. Comes off hands. Lane Curtis not going anywhere. I think that's uh, Colt Hero, Sam Pratt, just being caught holding the ball there. I don't believe it. Another free kick to the Panthers. What's the count currently, Keith? We're on... Not we, the Panthers. What are they on? Well, Panthers, I'll break for them. 10, 2, 9, I think. Might so have. very even overall. That's probably how the game's felt. The umpire's doing a magnificent job here. Razor storms out of defence with a good scoop. Running through the middle of the ground, looking for... Uh, Eberhard. Eberhard, he's led Sean to the ball Hill. by his opponent. And Kapunda now clearing up through Matters with a backhand ball, finding Evans. Evans goes back to Matters. He drives it forward. Wyatt Ryan, he's impeded there with an over-the-shoulder from Jack Miles. Miles was trapped too far behind and gave away a free kick. Ryan drives it forward now towards the half-wood flank. Flyers up, but Angerson player on the ground was able to take it. Riley Argent getting the ball out towards Dylan Tuckwell on the outer wing. Tuckwell able to collect the ball, but he's wrapped up by his opponent. This is actually the site of Dylan Tuckwell's first ever A-grade game, Keith. Mm, well, I can't recall, is it? Okay. Several seasons ago. And... Nearly gets a short kick out. Not sure that was 15 yards or not. We've got 25, have we? Mm, looks like it. Not sure what it was for. Well, the 25 was as, as short as the 15, I think. <laughs> That's probably fair. That's right. Yeah. Ball goes Spears forward. It. Spears great. it in, and I think it's high. Claimed by Durden, Durden. I think. <laughs> Riley Argent, a magnificent deliverer of the football, and he's a forwards delight. 
Angus and ten goal six sixty six to Kapunda three three twenty one on the Grant Burge Wine scoreboard. As be Jed Durden. This will be his longest shot at goal for the day. He's already kicked three. Moving on to thirty five for the season. Here's Angston's leading goal kicker for the season at this moment. Not sure about the distance, Michael. Comes in. Bit closer Gets man on the right mark and has it. to get under it, but it's got some carry. Didn't make the goal line. Off hands, off the boot, and through for a Kapunda behind. Happy to soccer that through for a behind. Not a bad ploy. They want to clear the ball out of their defensive zone, and Evans with his that big left boot is just the man to do it. Looking for a target now. Got two open men in this near pocket. Coming this way with a short kick. Finds Sean Bell, ding a ling. Bell winds around onto his right foot, goes long, goes just over the head of young Wyatt Ryan. Probably not using their big target to the best advantage. Jake Heinze with a mark now. Looking to drive the ball deep into Capunda's forward line. Whistler up forward for the Bombers now. No one able to take the mark. Ball on the ground. Mad struggle. Looks like it may have gone out of bounds. So we'll have a boundary throw in probably 20 metres, 15 metres around from the Kapunda goals. Kapunda really threatening with a chance to put their first goal on the board for quite some time. A much needed goal if it does occur. Whistler with the tap. But only to Shannon. Shannon's hoist out without looking is marked by Sean Bell in the centre of the ground. All the players in front of him, no one behind him, so it's fairly crowded up in the bomber forward line. Or oh, nearly the mark, just tucked away at the last moment by the Angerson defence. That's Angerson, should be able to run it out with a chain of handballs through Jaden Antony. His chip kick finds Riley Argent, who's been the transition player all day for the bomber, for Angerson, sorry. Handball's inboard to Nick Fallon. He chips across the centre where, on hands and knees, Ryan Canelli marks it. He goes wider again, looking for Eberhard. He can't scoop it up. The slips catch uh, wasn't out. Eberhard probably taken high there while he was on the ground. Cam Umpire Matters lets to, it go. to clear it out. He chips backwards. Kapunda should get out of this. Kick out wide, looking for Josh Dodd. Dodd marks, gets a handball over the top to Matters. His chip kick. Finds Connor White. Connor White underside, shapes the handball, then goes across into the corridor. Great kick. Where uh, a really good well lead, weighted kick. Good and good lead by Hayden Robinson to be there. He gets a kick up forward where it's punched away Looking from Justin good. Zanandrea. Zanandrea he still takes the ball back. on the deck. Yeah, keeps it in in play though. Fraser Aaron's a long way from goal. Can one he find the, a target? No interception is Tom Ryan. But it's one of the boy. truly spectacular things about Zan Andrea's game is that even if he doesn't take the mark the, his follow up on the ground and ability to get out of trouble is spectacular. Absolutely. One thing about boys is uh, Angus and defence have been holding real strong all day today. It's gonna be, uh, well nearly like? the mark there to um, Ryan Key. Great as Angus can come forward on a great kick. Nothing a defender can do about that disposal as Durden takes it in front of him. Turns around. Big fly at the goal and uh, got it. Got it. No. no. Minor score. A minor, minor score. A minor score, not a major minor. There's as a joke about that, major minor. There's a song about minor that, major. <laughs> Bell with a kick in. Uh, we are nearly Finds 14 minutes Neville. into the third quarter. Neville chips. Just Lucky clears kick. Angus Adams. Dodd with a kick. Dodd able to see running Bailey. Bailey shapes the handball. Shows a dummy to Loki. Goes up the uh, wing. As we're setting for a boundary throw in. Wyatt Ryan in the ruck now for the Bombers. Going against Angus Adams. So the two backup ruckmen going head to head. Neither able to really have an impact on that contest as the ball goes behind the back. Ryan on the hands and knees manages to hold it up. Well, here's the ruckman now. Whistler's just gone off. Yeah, it looks like he's holding a shoulder or something. There, yeah. Boys. And that's been a problem for Whistler 
for most of the season, repeated shoulder problems. Hopefully the Bombers, it's not a lingering problem. Anguston now able to clear forward. Strong mark by Jackerman. Looking for Clarkson, I think. I know at the back is Reiki. Reiki onto his left. Lead from... Kick. Well weighted kick finds Eberhard leading out. Probably 35 to 40 metres out he's taken that mark. So he'll be kicking from probably 45 to 50. Not beyond him, but it will be difficult kicking to that end of the ground. kicking them last week. Uh, wind's dropped. No reason why he couldn't get it here on a good turf here at Kapunda. There's some doubt about how it would pan out by the end of the week, but it's come up very well, Brad. It is. Yeah, no trouble with the distance. No distance. How's the accuracy? No, he's got it, boys. Got it. Last week he had trouble getting too close to the man on the mark. No such troubles that time. Uh, goal number 11 for the Panthers. Second goal for Ryder Eberhard. Angerson 11 goals, 8-74. It's starting to get tough now for Kapunda, Brad. It is. 3-3-21. A little bit of a um, worrying station at the moment. Uh, I think uh, Angerson just a bit more polished going forward uh, at the moment. They're just uh, they're perfectly weighed kicks that we're talking about, boys, from their midfielders and wings. It's just a beautiful day to be a forward today if you're in the Angerson forward line. Well, um, Angerson are uh, probably lucky. They've got two genuine full forwards in Eberhard and Durden. Plus... There's been a big spread of goal kickers, that aside. Absolutely. So, yeah. And then if you look at when it goes forward for the Bombers, there's always two against one or always make contest, bring the ground. Adam with the tap, his does his own Adams, roving. Hands it down to Carnelli. Carnelli hacks the ball forward. Well, that's a mark And too. a stolen mark there by the smaller player in Argent. Well, goes forward with that beautiful left boot to the goal square where Borholm was one-on-one -on -one with his opponent. Kapunda defender able to knock that ball towards the boundary and trickles over for a boundary throw in just next to the point post in Angerson's forward line. So more pressure on the Bombers now. Really becoming worrying for Kapunda. Their season on the line. Can they pull something off? Throw in. It'll be Borholm and Ryan to do the ruck work. Borholm at the back. Kick in six into the man though, and uh, rebounds to a pack of players. But the umpire has found a free kick, go the way of Jay Pundas. Jay, Jay, Jay Meany. Jay Meany comes out wide and finds player in the back pocket. He's chipping it inboard again, looking Dodd. for some run. Slips as he that's kicks. Slip, slippery over there, boys. Looks like tried to bite something Particularly pretty good end. off. It is yeah. bottom end. Anderson now rebounding. Handball and chip kick over finds Durden, probably within range from where Definitely he kicked his last goal. This time, very similar place to the last set shot that he had. Lining up for his fourth goal for the game. Deliberate. Mm. Waited that well again. Goal umpire not working hard. And the goal. Jed Durden with another. 12th goal to Angerston. Currently Angerston 12 goal 8, 80 leading Kapunda 3 goal 3, 21 on the Grant Burgewine scoreboard. Really becoming worrying for the Bombers now. Unable to generate a competitive score today, Brad. Yeah. It's and it looks like Whistler might be off the ground because... He hasn't come back on for a while. No, nope, Ryan's still minutes. in the ruck. I think we're looking at probably someone like Tyrell Hocking or Josh Dodd. These young lads get back in the game again. Been good for us yeah. all year. Just been a bit quiet today. Need yeah, to ball, generate some Hocking run. and um, Dodd to assist Ryan in the ruck. Angus, for, um, Angus Adams for... Angerston, and of course there's a two-fold sword there, double edge, because that means Borholm goes to full forward and you've got to send a bigger person Absolutely. down to him. And it looks like we've uh, moved Cam Matters up to the wing as well, try and get a bit of run and pace okay. in the game. Could be too little too late, but it is, at least it's an attacking move from Kapunda. You know, it takes footy is a funny game. Anything can it happen. is, correct. This is, this is a great footy, so anything can happen. Be a restart. Great physical work there by Dodd. 
White Ryan takes the front position, gets the hand down, but Dylan Tuckwell picks it up cleanly. Out to Carnelli, who kicks the ball forward and finds young Riley Argent, who's probably almost within range. He's got a big left, booming left foot on him. He sets it right up towards the goal square. Eberhard from behind, unable to take it. I think one feature of Angerson's game is being able to release the running player absolutely. coming through. Yep, absolutely. Uh, even in traffic. So it's been very clean with their hands. Yep. And it's something I noticed in the reserves today. It's a common trend throughout, so it's a whole squad approach, it seems. Probably is. Um, Angerson Reserve is very, very young and love to run. They're, that's their main attribute. But quite often, reserves teams can have a completely different personality than the A grade side. And Just Riley Argent with the behind. Skill. His first score of the game. Looks like he's resting up four at the moment. It'll be Evans to bring the ball back into play for the Bombers. Goes short to Hocking. Hocking has got a target in the corridor, but... John Raisler with John another Raisler. intercept mark. And straight through. And, and kicks gee, a that's goal. that's a harsh turnover. That's John Raisler has been impressive at times today. Hasn't had a ton of the footy, but has had a bunch of intercept marks, and when he marks it, he runs. And he is a defender, so he's come a long way he, to do to make that intercept. He targets, and he always breaks a positive play. It's always good, boys, to see a defending kick goal. I don't mind that. Yeah. Do you have the the um, sweepstake? Do you? A lot of defences is a dollar in, and if a defender kicks a goal, they get the get the pool. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, I, might have to look oh, I think that it. might now be implemented at the bottom. Oh, we might have to have a chat after this and uh, get this installed. And currently, twenty one and a half minutes gone in the third quarter here. And next next few goals must go the way of Kapunda if they get back in this game. And in percentage is actually an important thing for the Panthers as well, not just waiting on wins and losses to go their way. Percentage can be important at this time of year. Yeah, and because of the way we do is percentage in South Australia, um, keeping your opponent to a low score is the key to improving it. Shootout is not what you really want. And at the moment, that's Cyril in their hands. Hocking with the clearance there. Did it all himself, gets the ball out wide. To Bailey Jones. Jones unable to pick it up under severe pressure from Nick Fallon. Fallon's been steadfast in defence today. Yeah, rebounding pretty well. Oh, and good over the top. I love to see that. It's by Brody Borg. Brody Borg, and that's something the AFL really need to look at bringing back in. It's, it's your risk if you put an extra man in the air, I reckon. Rather than see two ruckmen wrestle for it all the time. Ball's wrapped up here in front of our commentary point. Fraser Evans just happy to concede the ball up there. Reset. Here's Matters. Won't get the kick away. Carnelli trying to re wrench the ball out from Kapunda. But he's no chance to get it away from Lane Curtis, who's just got vice like hands. Tyrell Hocking with another clearance for the Bombers. Bailey in front. Bailey Jones, that is. Jones going inboard now. Some was in his eyes. Just he over the head Robinson. of the Angerson player who was unsighted. And in the middle of the ground, Kapunda now. Callum Brown. Callum Brown goes long, finds a mark. Meany. Meany just inside the forward 50. And Kapunda will have their first set shot on goal for the second Aid Mudge, boys. Aid Mudge. Well, Mudge has got to be a chance here, doesn't he? Well, he's got to add a loose man there, but it was making the angle more acute. Tuesday night, boys, he was out there kicking from the exact same well, spot. So this is the well. problem with Whistler off the field. You can't, roo, can't move um, White Ryan up there in the goal square. He just so pulled he it. made the distance. Commentator's curse, Brad. Welcome Absolutely. to the club. I oh, know Tuesday night, boys, he was putting them through goalpost height. The boys have to know about that one too, mm. not just mine. As Angerson clearing out wide. Ends up with Clarkson on his knees. Handball's off to a running player. Tom, Tom Ryan. Ryan goes to a contested Jade situation. Nantoni. Jaden Antony wins the free kick on the wing. Chips it inboard. Looking for Ryder Eberhard with a good mark. Going back. Woods, but but he's possession. in good hands. Chip kick going forwards. Finds huge, Miles. Huge number of players across the middle of the ground at the moment. Miles going Secret. forward. Finds a marking player in... Loki. Loki. Loki wheels around onto the right. Here's the Jay Shannon. 
Jay Shannon moves his player under the ball, gets back on it, gets tackled. And Riley Argent. Handball back to the running Argent and kicks the goal as a resting small. Beautiful play from the Panthers from one end to the other. Very slick, looking good at the right time of the year. If they do manage to make finals, they're looking in good form. Yeah, and they're doing this without their key defender as Coach Shannon comes off. Looks to be labouring a little bit. Well, it was just in a heavy contest there to set that goal up. Jackman replacement. Whistler comes back on. That's good news for White Ryan. Good news for Kabunda. And even though the game looks like it could be gone, almost gone now, Brad, you'd want to see Kapunda get some goals and get a little bit of just momentum and enthusiasm. Yeah, that's probably what we're looking for now. Obviously, down by about 70 points now, probably close to three-quarter time. It's been a big day for the Bomber. It has been. Really good effort from the under-17s. B grade were probably a little outclassed in an important game with Nathan Skidder close playing his 150th reserves games for the Bomber today. The first ever player at Kapunda Bomber history, boys, to play 150 B grade games without an A grade game. What about um, the youngest Micken, uh, he Andrew? Play, he, he, played, he played an A grade game. So well, I thought he played a lot of B grade he, towards the end. He, would have, he played a lot of B grade games. It's the first B grader to not play an A grade game in that 150 games. So okay. We've had a lot of 150 oh, okay, I see. Yep. So... Yep. so is 150 only B grade games. Only B grade games in the club. I bet, he's, I bet he's good for the bar. He's, he's uh, a great club man. Great club man. Obviously. Anderson clearing through the middle of the ground. Raisler took the mark, handles off to Tom Ryan, who kicks out to the outer wing. And Tuckwell able to uh, take the ball. Was impeded with a free kick. Plays Fines on. Evans. Fraser Evans chops off there with an under intercept mark. Oh. Kicks the ball into the middle. Sloppy, turns it over to Clarkson. I, I, no purchase on the ground, I think. The kick didn't go as far as it's supposed to go. Clarkson also slips and uh, kicks the ball down the, the throat of the... Lane Curtis. Of Curtis for Kapunda. Curtis plays on, driving it towards half-forward flank. Raisler again in the right spot, almost takes another intercept mark. Ball's chipped over to Jaden Antonio, who turns and kicks. A great take there by the Angerson player. Handball into Carnelli who turns and kicks, looking for Jackerman. Jackerman at his highest reach, couldn't quite outreach the defender. As the siren goes for three-quarter time here at Dutton Park. Scores currently Angerston 14 goal 9 93 to Kapunda 3 goal 4 32 on the Grant Burge Wine scoreboard. Gents, better players for this stage of the game. Um, for Angerston, Riley Argent. Um, the defenders are sort of all putting in it. No one's really standing out. They're all doing their job well. They, I think uh, uh, Nick Fallon has been rebounding pretty well and reading the play excellently. Raisler's got to be in the mentions, yeah. as does Tom Ryan. Um, up forward they're presenting, and while he hasn't kicked a lot of goals in his own um, character, I suppose, uh, Eberhard's leading is causing the Kapunda defence some issues. Um, and the other players are picking up the ball. Angerson's got... Some, one, two, about ten individual goal kickers. What about for Kapunda, Brad, in your eyes? Uh, obviously, a uh, bit tough today to pick the players who play. Well, obviously, Fraser Evans down back, our, our coach, playing coach. Uh, Jay Meaney, he's been um, serviceable today. Uh, Hayden Robertson, he's had his, had his moments. And I think that quarter there, Tyrell Hocking really uh, started to get a bit of influence around the footy, but unfortunately... We just seem to be breaking down, heading towards uh, Ford 50. So. I'd agree with those, and I'd probably throw Borg in as well. Yeah, Borg as well, absolutely. He's and what was missing from the third quarter, boys? Goals for Kapunda. No, hey. oh, as well as that. I didn't notice number 14 for Angerson out there. Oh, Summerton, yes. Correct. He was out there early. As the coach, Jay Shannon, now heads out to the middle. I reckon it was the last time we played you boys, he uh, had some hamstring issues. Yeah, he went off in the first quarter. Yeah. He'd probably come back too early from, yeah. a, from his hammy. Well, that's not what I've seen in this competition. Hopefully he's all uh, good. And, and might be week. a smart play from the Panthers just to it could be. put him on the bench. At this stage, the game is, you'd think, safe. And the young players are really playing well. Why not let them take the lead? Timekeeper Bevan letting the siren rip. Obviously, we're behind time. <laughs> Mike's mate he is. Um, goal kickers today for Angerson, it's John Razor with one, Jaden Antonio with one, 
four to Jed Durden, one to Harry Clarkson, one to Steve Summerton, uh, three to Ryder Eberhard, singles to Thomas Jackerhand, Mark Borholm and Dylan Tuckwell. And no goal kickers for Kapunda in that quarter. It remains at Brodie Borg with two and Sam Bratt, Pratt with one. Um, Can we just repeat that again? Sam Pratt? Sam, Sam Pratt. Pratt with one. Just for those at home, Sam Pratt has kicked a goal. <laughs> well, done. he kicks a goal here now and again, doesn't he? Surely. Uh, Pratty, as, as I take the same a bit before, he's the, the best decoy in the business. Okay. He, before the game, he described himself as a decoy forward. <laughs> Real challenge for Kapunda now. Um, Percentage is an issue with some teams, with buys and draws and everything that's happened so far, so percentage is an issue. This wouldn't be helping their percentage. As I said, the South Australian system where you add the total scores of the game and then divide it by the winner's score, um, it's hard to increase that by a substantial amount, particularly towards the end of the year, but if you keep your opposition to a low score, um, it uh, increases the percentage of shootout. In a shootout, you can actually go backwards. Even though you might win by five, six goals, uh, you can go backwards. So that's all up to Kapunda now, mate. I mean, you're a proud club. I'm sure you'll come back. Yeah, I, I think at the moment, I'm looking at the three-quarter time huddle right there, I think uh, J- Jason McKenzie there, he's pretty much laying down the law. He'll be here. I think a bit of pride uh, at the moment. Um, big day for the footy club, and the boys just haven't produced what we'd like to, to do today because obviously this, today, if we won today, finals is pretty much booked in. Unfortunately, today now we've... Looks like we are going to go down, uh, unless a miracle does happen in the last quarter here. But uh, we're going to rely on results next week going our way, unfortunately. Yeah. But uh, And have to win yourself. We have to win ourselves, absolutely. So um, it looks like it's going to be a live game next week, boys, for the finals, the last final spot. So, Which is great for the, those at home and us footy fans. Well, how's it going at Freeling? I suppose that's the one we need to know. I'm still waiting for those scores to come yeah. through. I mean, if Tanunda happened to go down... It's really wide open again. Absolutely. So um, anything's possible. Williston with the bye today, but not a. Uh, they only got. I've got Freeling next week, so you expect Williston shouldn't lose that one. They shouldn't no. So they'll be relying on South Gawler to beat yep. Angus next week and Newry to beat Kapunda. Yep. Only two coming off the ground for Angus from the huddle. That suggests there's two on the bench permanently. Who's the other one? I think, boys, just the last bit here, looking at the Kapunda Bombers, I know what Buckets and uh, Fraser will be saying. I think the goal of this quarter is to win the quarter and just get a bit of momentum heading yep. towards uh, the Newry game, I think. That's it's about uh, pride. Bit, a bit of pride, absolutely. You're and a proud club. Absolutely, so. And the same scenario, Angerson do need to put their foot to the pedal. Correct. So. And, and finish the game off uh, if they want to value the percentage. And that's going to be big for next week, yeah. so... For you guys, you guys want to keep going on, and for us, we would want to obviously try and pin back four or five goals here. And as we start the last it. quarter in the match of the day here at Dutton Park, Kapunda playing Angerson in a pre-finals final-like game. Whistler as takes the ball himself. Whistler cle- dribbles off the boot. Coming through oh. hard for his weight was Connor Took his White. own player. That's uh, Jay Mane there, <laughs> boys. Jay. <laughs> That's real. Aggression gee, and dedication. There's nothing to Connor White, but gee, come in hard there. As Angerson cleared bump. backwards with a handball through Carnelli to Shannon. Looks like there's a bit of intent there from the Kapunda boys to start this quarter. Shannon with the kick forward, but the ball turned over. Kapunda. Nick Fallon with yeah. a good overhead intercept. As he clips forward, finds Cal Loki. Loki wheels around onto the left. It was Argent. Sorry. But uh, Argent's got plenty of the ball today. Big man Angus Adams was struggling for the ball and the umpire moves in. He's signalling a free or ball up? Thought he was suggesting some sort of throw in there. No, I think he's pretty happy just to ball it up because he can see it's a real tight contest. The umpires have had no impact on the game whatsoever. There were a couple of 25s paid, but again, no real impact. Yeah, that high ball marked with courage mark there. under pressure. It's Tyrell Hocking. Tyrell, he's a courageous little player. One of the smallest guys on the field. And slips, slips over again, boys. John That's Razor with another intercept mark. He'll be nearly in double figures in that category. I reckon we've seen about three or four blokes slip over yep. there. Yep, and I think he might have hurt the ankle or something. Groin, groin or ankle there. Yeah, it looks like he's holding the ankle the there, slip. He's and looks like the top he's in trouble. releases Argent. He fires the ball in too high for Eberhard. Taken away by Lane Curtis. He goes out wide to Cameron Matters. Matters has got Brody Borg. 
the double goal kicker for the Kapunda Bombers. He goes inboard, finds Hayden Robinson. The ex Freeling Junior has been a great finder, great footballer for Kapunda since Looking for Wyatt goals. Ryan. Ryan with a good overhead mark. Finally managed to get some clearance on Miles. He's been wearing him like a glove all day. Ball's up high. Big fly. Oh, read well off the pack by Josh Dodd, but couldn't get boot to ball. Now he's tackled and will have the umpire move Again, as you've been saying, that Angus and defence just stifling today, Brad. Yeah, really good. I'm really impressed by their defensive structures today and they're holding up very well. Trying to battle their way through and getting the boot to ball eventually was Jack Miles. Canelli will lead the race. He goes down under the ball but no free kick. Kapunda Comes now to Kapunda with a the ball back in with kick. a big high kick. And rising high. Was Ben Antoni. Kicks the ball into a Kapunda nest of bombers. Kapunda with the players there, Tyrell Hocking. He's recovered well from that slip and ankle. His strain. worm burner straight into a not, not ready whistler. <laughs> Jaden Antoni with another intercept. Yeah, well, Drives the ball forward. Right into space. Very cleverly there, let his man under the board. He's got Tuckful by himself as a flying shot at goal, only able to. Kick the behind. Possibly should have looked for Tuckwell there. Possibly could have, but when you're a full forward, that's not always the inclination, is it, Keith? There's Razor again. He might be on the wing, Michael. If he seems to be a bit further up, might forward. have moved forward. He is a traditional wingman, but has learned to play a lot of half back. Chip kick finds Jed Durden lining up for his fifth goal of the game. Grant Burge Wine scoreboard has Angus 14 10 to Kapunda 3 4. This is the last quarter, round 17, and there's a lot on the line for a lot of clubs at the moment. Durden moving in, 50 out, looks good off the boot. Extra good, in fact, over the netting at the back. Players are celebrating, they're real happy to see Durden going well. Really making an impact on the competition this year. He was probably unheralded when, heralded when he came to the club. Richie Bicken finds his flags, apparently, he's only got two. There's been a flag, great flag theft at Kapunda today somewhere. Is that right? Yeah, Sam Ryan went out to the goal umpire the reserves and had no flags. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for a fair bit of this game, that seemed the way for Kapunda. Mm. 15th goal for the Panthers. 15-10-3-4. It's a big win looming. But Kapunda still need to play the game out. Season is not over for them. Yep. Currently, Angus in 15-10, playing Kapunda 3-goal-4 on the Grant Birds Wine scoreboard as we are four and a half minutes into the fourth quarter here at Kapunda. And three-quarter time scores, Gawler Central 7-goal-5, trailing Neary 13-10. Okay. The Neary Tigers have put a bit of a gap on there. Probably how we should expect it would be. And currently, the game between Freeling and Tanunda. Freeling 53, Tanunda 62, so still close there close. at Freeling. Will the Red Legs manage to find something and create a real lift for their footy club? Yeah, last quarter, not too many goals scored, so it might be a short quarter. So, But within two goals, it's nearly their best ever for the year for the, for the Red Legs. Throw in right our forward for the Bombers going towards the trotting track end here of Kapunda Oval. Angus Adams takes the ball out of the back, handballs off to Canelli. Canelli is looking for Jackman, punched away from him by Elaine Curtis. Bit unheralded, Curtis. I think he's done a solid job in defence. Yeah, no, Lane has come a long way. He's obviously a Rookie of the Year at the, in the BLG a couple of years ago. Yep. So, um, yeah, no, he's, he's evolved his game again this year. Obviously, we've got a lot of halfback flankers at the Kapunda Footy Club, but uh, Lane is just the unsung hero back there. But that's the trend of modern football is halfback flankers is what you really want. Absolutely. Because Absolutely. they're flexible and they can play just about everywhere. And it's good to see a former Rookie of the Year really developing and playing some grown man football. It is good to see. And hopefully uh, yeah. we might get another one this year at the Kapunda Bombers. I know Jacob Heinz is leading it currently. so um, Okay. And I wouldn't be disappointed if he did take the honours at yeah. the end of the season. Absolutely. At Kapunda Moment, obviously Harry Wockey's got the ball right now. Um, he's another one that's up there. And Aidan Mudge. It's really promising to see these three guys in that's their first year. Wyatt Ryan win. flies for that, but the ball punched away. Looks like there might be a free kick paid here. Yes, Ryan will be having a shot on goal. 
Oh, this is his first of the day. Major if he slots it. Unfortunately for the Bombers, he's been up the ground a bit too much, I think, today, boys. This is where we want him. Yeah, so Rosa Swag is a miss, I suppose, in that regard. Do Leans back on it and... Well, I'm not sure. Goal on choice here, boys. He's going to give it. Yes, he is. He has paid it. It could have gone either way. It's almost over the top of the goal post. But the goal umpire is in the perfect position, and I'm not going to second guess him. He's not in Kananara. Not in Kananara. No, no. That's a bit obtuse, Michael. Oh. Not sure what that could mean. The grand final not this sure week. Not sure what I know. The tribunal had to overturn the final score in the grand final because the one of the goal umpires blew 2.2. 2.2. Point two point two. Point two. And well, as long as he didn't drive to the ground. <laughs> but he gave a point instead of a goal. Is that right? That changed the outcome of the game. Luckily, we don't have that problem in this competition. We've got some great volunteers at all clubs. As we see, Whistler win the tap. And Shannon and Whistler forward. now getting acquainted. Free kick, Kapunda. Antony, Antony couldn't reel it in. Weaving his way through is Fallon. He's been very good for the Panthers today. Yeah, Wobbly kick out wide. Not the best result, though, for him and Mark by Sean Bell. Bell in the centre of the ground. Goes towards White Ryan. A great mark. That's what oh, we've probably been waiting all day hands, to see. Young man. I really love watching him play. He had some pressure from behind, but was still able to clench the ball and bring it down. Can he make this distance here, Brad? Yeah, no issues with the distance here. Yep. Um, this is this is the future of the Kapunda Footy Club right here, hopefully, boys. Yes, it is. is. And I'm just watching a replay of that mark now. Oh, absolutely beautiful. I know Took it at its highest apex. When he first came in, boys, they were going to make a statue of this bloke when he first rocked up the Kapunda Footy Club. <laughs> Next map, the minor. Is there room for a statue of both him and you? Oh, I don't know. I think we'll give it to White, mate. He's more the game winner than me. But uh, Didn't make the distance and push through by the Angleston defence. Oh, not up. That's not a catch. That's not out in cricket. Um, and yeah, played a free kick. Has played the free kick for holding the ball. Bailey Jones plays on. He's missed it, I think, boys. Uh, goal up and was writing down the score. And signalling a minor. Signalling a minor. Well, perhaps Bailey should have gone back and taken the kick. Tom Ryan to bring the ball back into play for the Panthers. They're heading the scoreboard at the moment. 15-10-100. Kapunda 4-6-30. Ryan outside the square. Well, what would he kick off the boot? But well gathered by Raisler. Well smothered, I think, by Fraser Evans. The pack develops now at centre forward for the Bombers, and they've managed to keep the ball in their attacking area. And now Tom Ryan, the player that kicked the ball in, has run 50 metres to join and, and keep that ball in to prevent it getting out for a Big pack. There's everyone went up for the ruck then. Um, You've been calling for the think, third man up. That was about the seventh that's and eighth. That's right. Ball with a tap. Finds Shannon. Shannon kicking around the corner a bit. Puts it out wide. First one of the ball is Everhard, but he's rolled over. He's wrapped up and we'll have a ball up on the far wing here at Kapunda Oval. Borham holds his feet. <laughs> Don't know how. Comes to Clarkson. He's tackled immediately on possession. It's not going anywhere. And we have a ball up another five metres closer to the Kapunda goal. 70 points adrift here at the uh, Darton Oval. Kick can't be marked by Jackerman. His handball goes only as far as Sean Bell. And uh, Kapunda yet to clear it. Comes across the ground. It should be marked. You know, punched away well by Ben, ben Antony. Antony. 36 is Connor White. His low kick isn't marked. Picked up Jack beautifully Miles. off his feet by Jack Miles. But kicked into a Kapunda blow out to Cameron Matters. Cameron Matters long range shot, shot at goal. goal. And, and I think he's probably he's slow. Goal. Tom Ryan just unable to get his hand on that on the line. But a beautiful long goal from Matters. And that's what Matters can do. And we haven't seen enough of that today. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, hasn't really uh, been his, his day day cam. But it's probably not to put all on cam himself. I think uh, Angerson will control the ball. And hasn't given. We haven't been able to get into the onto the ball winners that we like. So 
but you can just see there, Cam, he's a very composed uh, individual, and if he gets his opportunities, boys, he's going to take him. So. Yep. And with 11 and a half minutes gone in the fourth quarter, Angerson have got the ton up with 15 goal, 10, 100, leading Kapunda, 5 goal, 6, 36 on the Grant Bridge Wine scoreboard. Restart. Backhand flip by uh, Whistler's good. Finds Hocking. Hocking. Hocking's able to take a bounce out of the centre. Fire down the pass, and that's great footy. Josh Dodd, boys. Hits Dodd. Beautiful lead, beautiful kick, great mark. That's what Kapunda have been missing all day, is that spark out of the middle door, Correct. leading forward. It's the first time they've had a leading forward with any gap on his defender. Well, I think the Hocking took the ball out of the centre in a way, which helped the leading forward. But no summit in there in the centre for Angus, neither, so you got to think that helps. So is this out of bounds on the uh, No, no minor score, point. So Tom Ryan to bring the ball back in. Uh, this is Jacob Fibiger. Out through the fingers of the Angerson player. Soccer off the ground. Here's Canelli. Canelli's handball out to Ryan. Ryan. He kicks out wide with the coach. Over, over the, the head of Jaden Shannon. Could be out of bounds. Shannon gives Probably away gives the free, away free kick. kick for in the back. Go the way of Brody Borg. Umpire Prentice right on the spot there to give that free kick. It's been impressive again today. No one able to really collect that ball until Wyatt Ryan finally picks it Here's up and Bailey it Jones out. with another chance to kick a goal. And this time Boy's gonna go back and take a shot. He is. Should have the other time or two, I reckon, but no pressure on young blokes when they kick for goal. A lot better quarter for the Bombers here, boys. They just uh, seem to get a few more forward entries and just starting to hold it in a bit more. Playing a more dynamic style of football. Absolutely. Unfortunately, it wasn't there for the first three quarters. As the young fella kicks a major. Takes Kapunda to six goals, seven, 43. Playing Angerston, 15 goal, 10, 100 on the Grant Burge Wine scoreboard. Every goal is important for Angerston. Um... The Panthers like really I said, need they just to can't relax. Wrestle control back, um, percentage-wise. Eberhard back in the centre circle for the Panthers. Argent Canelli for Capunda. It's Whistler. Harry Watke. Tyrell Hocking. Tyrell Hocking. And Brody Borg, boys. And Brody Borg. And Hocking, the real difference maker in this quarter. Absolutely. Carnelli with a quick clear forward. Goes through the hands of several players. Dylan Tuckwell soccers it out the back of the contest. Is that the first one to collect it? It's taken down in a tackle. And we'll have a ball up probably just outside the 50 in Angerson's forward half. Yeah, it's still a long way from goal. I know that's the easy end to kick goals. Always seems a long way going up the hill. And we'll have another throw in in almost the exact same spot. And worryingly, looking across behind the throw, you've got players like Jaden Antoni all on his own. Capunda able to grab the ball and clear. John Razor again with the cutoff. And gets the ball and finds that man we were just talking about, Antony. Takes a long running shot at goal and nails it. That's his second long range goal for the day. But too good a player to be left sitting at the back of the contest 20 metres clear, Brad. Yeah. Real lack of communication there from the bomber. Yeah, no, if I reckon uh, during the week the boys will look at this and unfortunately, it's just uh, I think the boys have been too attacking there and just. You can't let a quality player like Antonio at the back there. As you see, he just puts it through and had a very good game today. So, yep. uh, yeah, it's just at this level, boys, you can't let blokes with that talent in that much space. So you've got to back yourself to win the tap, perhaps, and take the ball forward. And that's it. Maybe that's yeah. what Capundo said, what Capundo might be doing at the moment, just trying to back themselves in to win the contest. And unfortunately, just backfired and Angerson had a loose men all around. As it's Ryan back in the ruck. 
Paul Holm with the tap. Down, gets a tap to Argent. Argent's long kick out of defence. Leading the race to the ball was uh, Reinke, but a ball bounces cruelly for him. Someone Tuckwell brought it down, but was tackled quickly, and the ball spilled loose. So we invented that oval ball. <laughs> should be sacked, I think. John Rays were unable to collect the ball that time. And Carnelli with a strong tackle over the top of his opponent. Just crushes Borg into the ground. Robinson again. Phoebe got up high, got two hands to it, rushing through his aid and mudge. Keeps the ball in play. Uh, comes back for the handball from Bailey Jones. Tried to walk the tight right? across the line and uh, not enough room and uh, across the line for a throw in right out forward for the Bombers. But Who good attacking trail, run from the young Bombers. The trail Angerson on the ground, Burge Ryan scoreboard, 6 7 43 to 16 10, 106. A lot of players around the actual throw-in. Probably Ryan with the punch, but uh, too many players for it to be a clear possession and taken out Umpire of the Umpire Prentice comes in for press. yet another ball up. Been impressive today, Prentice. I'm a fan of his work at this stage. He's had a good season. Matters, Matters on the back play. Kicks it Ooh. to right to the goal Everyone square. flew. Pushed through for behind. Again, boys, just really depressed by the Angerson defence there. Two against one. Here's Fibiger. Fibiger out to the far side. Long Real kick. long kick. Probably 65 uh, well marked, metres though. minimum. Lane Curtis. Lane Curtis with the helmet. Coming in looking for Ryan. Ryan he holds with the his ground. big, strong overhead mark. Too big, too strong. Size does matter. How would you like to stand him, Brad? Yeah, no... Nah. He would easily outmuscle me, mate, for a 20 year old. Uh, I'm glad I don't get to spend, uh, stand on the big monsters like those blokes out there. But um, yeah, he's when he gets in those hands, it's hard to stop. Loki off Tuckwall in this time. Oh, he's got the accuracy. He's Not quite the distance, or we'll wait and see. I think he's got the distance. Yes, he has. Got yep. Yes, he has. That's what he's capable of. That's why he is a future super superstar of the BLG and possibly the SANFL. Yeah, he's, he's had a few runs down at Central's Reserves at the moment, so um, he's been quite, doing quite well. But, but good for us that he's back here with, playing for the Bomber. So and Hopefully, as you said, Teeks, hopefully he's a, a future star for years to come. Is he a local bloke? Uh, lives down at uh, Roseworthy. Okay, so, so not a Ryan, Ryan? No, 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 no. He's, um, for those of you who know Kapunda? Yeah, you know, he's, not one, he's not involved with the, the Ryan clan here. So Much like Link Ryan, a very different kind of Ryan. Link, I was going to bring up Link here on today's uh, broadcast. Uh, he's the... He reckons he's the best Ryan out of both of them. But, he's uh, a strange cat. He is a very uh, different character, Link is, but uh, definitely off the field. He's best on every weekend. So. And Ryan gets the ball out of the ruck there. Finds Marty a play Jones. our forward. Jones looking to be creative. He's had a good fourth quarter. He'll have oh, some... Searching kick. Jones will have some confidence to take in the next week, no matter what the result. No room for the Kapunda forwards there by the Angus in the fence. Bohom gets up. Yeah. Kick around the corner. Just goes across face of goal. Right across and out of bounds. So we'll have a boundary throw in right next to the point post in Kapunda's forward line. Bombers pushing hard in this fourth quarter. Really playing for pride now. Good deep throwing. Borholm gets his hand to it. Ball comes down. The Kapunda player is tackled straight away. Flips out and then a free kick. Connor White, boys. Connor White attacked the, was the, really the only one who attacked the footy dead on and drew a free kick from his opponent. He's another one of the younger brigades that the Bombers have got to look forward to as he matures. Absolutely. Um, Looking at, as I said early on, we've only got about four or five blokes in this team that are above 25 years old. So, um, Matty Ryan, he's got a bit of time at work at the moment. So, he goes through and looks at the age averages. So, I think you're looking at it. Most of the average age is about 22, 23 years old in this team. So, there's uh, another goal for the youngster. First goal for Connor White. And it's the young players for Kapunda that are hitting the scoreboard in this quarter. Eighth mm. goal for the Bomber, 8 8 56, trailing 
Angus and 16, 10, 106. And with all that talk of percentage early, this is where Angus and really need to get back on track. They do. Um, this is, Every goal is costly at the moment. The game may be won, but every goal is costly as far as percentage goes. It's Borholm and Ryan. Borholm tries to take it one both hands. And, and a free kick's been paid to Borholm, has it? Yes, I believe so. Just not really sure what it was for. I'm just going to... Just hold the man there, boys. The yeah, ball's not clear. I think it was still held. His kick taken on the half volley by... Tuckwell Tuckle. to Bryant to Jay Shannon, who chips the ball around the corner. Big Finds kick Jaden Antoni. Big high kick. And Angus, Angus Adams, Adams planted himself gus. under it. The big Gus, Ripper bloke gus has taken a mark probably 45 metres out. Now, the rule is he's not allowed to kick. Is that right? Yeah. Well, he's so a ruckman. Someone's, someone's got to take the handball off him, but I don't see anyone yeah. offing at the moment. Oh, it's a bit of me time for big Gus here. He's so. a genuine ruckman, Brad. He's he not is. one of these ruckman forwards. No, exactly. No, I love to see him. He's a ripper bloke, Gus. So. Yes, oh. and has matured nicely as a backup ruckman. He has. He has. Um, obviously, with a big ball hold there, I think he's matured very well. He Hit looks good off nicely. the boot. And he's kicked it. Maybe touched. It's there, boys. Or he's no, it's there. a goal. He's given, he's given it. Oh, Richie Micken. Go. Richie Micken. Uh, he loves his wine. The fairest man in football. <laughs> well, hang on. No, the umpire's turned it over here, boys. I mean, it was the field umpire that changed that. Yeah, where was his position? There was a little bit of indecision. Richie signalled a goal and then sort of looked to signal a point. Not sure. Oh, he loves his wine, Richie. Perhaps Angus has uh, made a suggestion to him. There could be a red on the way. Well, that's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> that's Kapunda now controlling the ball coming out of defence. Just trying to control possession. Playing the ball along the boundary. Kick down the line. Ryan, no, Ryan the was the target. Punched away. Shannon with the ball. He's tackled and felled. Ball spills out for Dun Kapunda. Not a good kick. Brady, jo Brady Jones can't Great control tackle. it. Good tackle. Pulled the hand by on the back side. Hammering tackle. I think Bailey can hold his head up and here, boys. He's uh, had a really good second half. He's been impressive. And Jacob Febiger was the tackled. Shannon at the bottom of the pack again. The tackled. The tackled. That's a new word. Be in the Oxford next year. Or well, could be the Tack Lee. Borholm takes the ball out of the ruck after Wyatt Ryan missed it completely. Kick Clarkson. around the corner. That was Dead Dead and took the ball on the volley. Handballs it out to Jaden Antoni. Again, boys getting very loose. Kicks out the ball there. forward. High, wide, and handsome. I don't know if anyone's standing on Antonio. Well, I'm not sure where he's playing. I don't think he's the wing. No, I just don't think anyone's running near him. Yeah. He's playing somewhere, but it's somewhere that no Kapunda <laughs> player goes. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure if they're worried he's got COVID. Well, yeah, I was going to say, boys. He's not he's, wearing a mask. I don't know, say he doesn't smell nothing because he's yeah. been on himself the whole day. Yep. Kick out finds Jacob Heinze, but a good defensive mark taken by... Is that Fallon, is it there? Ben Antony. Oh, ben Antony. Ben Chips into Jay Shannon, the coach. Ball in slow motion, that last wants to compose 20, things 20 a little seconds. Bit. Shannon goes out wide where Antony's by himself again. Again. Uh, slowing it up a fair bit, Angerston. Just, Just showing a bit of composure here. Taking the momentum away from Kapunda. I think both teams are just looking to get through to next week now, boys. Yeah, well, you wouldn't want any injuries no, late, would you? That, uh, yeah, that really Argent didn't. with a quick kick in. Kapunda turn it over. Ball soccer on the off the ground. Big soccer to the advantage of Bailey Jones as he got the pace. Fallon Ooh. just physically yeah. worried him out of that contest. A little bit of a rail. And looks like a free kick free. is going to be paid. Fallon's got the free kick, boys. Nick Fallon, probably not real fair. He... Impeded Jones with a little bit of a rail from behind. Just use his superior physicality there. But a young fella able to sort of get back into the contest. Unluckily gave away a free kick. Fallon now comes out towards our camera Looking position. Shannon. 
punched away from him as Young he waited Harry under Wookie. the ball. Young Harry Wockey there, boys. Good fly. Well done, Wockey. Getting Shannon very dark well at Button position. Park now as we head into the 27th minute of the fourth quarter. Scoreboard reads Angston 16-11-107. Got the game safe. 8-8-56, eight, eight, but goals vital to both sides at the moment for percentage. Liam Opitz tackled as he kicked and the ball's gone out, but the umpire signal's touched. So it's a throw in right half forward for the Bombers. They're going to the trotting truck end. Trotting truck? Trotting track. Tra tra trotting track. <laughs> Too many TRs in there. Capunda by Open. hands, able to yeah. work it out for a quick kick. Ready. Sam Pratt There's flew. I Phoebe think he was confused. Phoebe along. And again. There's Jaden Antony. All by himself, boys. Hayden Robinson's his man, I reckon. Hayden was a bit far away. Inboard to Shannon. Shannon's able to just put it out wide for Clarkson. Gets a handball to John Razor, who's had a ton of the footy in the second half. Razor really into the centre circle, up to the square. It's one on one here. Ball's over the top. Goes towards the goal, but pushed through. Rush behind for Angerston. I think Antony's got every right to feel a bit insulted in the way he's not been regarded by the Capunda players today. <laughs> uh, perhaps Hayden's playing his own game, I think. Which is, you know, wingers and centermen do that. Yeah, check the hand at the start, yeah. boys, and see at the end. Yeah, see you see at, at the bar. Long straight kick down the ground. Ryan's there, but couldn't mark it. Carnelli sharks the ball, unable to take it. Ball spills back to him. He gets the ball, handballs it backwards to Fallon. Fallon clearing right out to the outer side on the boundary. He finds Jaden Antony, the man we've just been talking about for most of the last <laughs> half. Adam's asking for it in the middle. That was never going to happen. His short kick up the boundary line finds Argent. Argent. Argent on that left Argent leg. keeps it along the boundary line. Push, push out the free kick, Angerson here. Yes, Dern should collect free kick here. What do you reckon? Full forwards, boys, go back and have a shot here? Or yeah, no, he's got to have a kick. Have a kick. Yep. Most full forwards, for until the they start paying six points for a pass. Exactly. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. Uh, you know. It looks like he's going back for a shot, boys. Well, he's and four, so... He deserves a shot. Well, he sailed it, but I think he's to the close side and just the one behind. Well, Angus going to be looking to lock the ball in and just have repeated efforts here. Angston 16-13, Almost 30 minutes gone in the final quarter here at Dutton Park. Can't be much longer. Match of the day has been a seesawing affair. It's not a close score, but it's been some really high-quality football for those watching. Before we close, Michael, anything from other grounds? No final scores. No, unfortunately not yet. Not quite through. We might be slightly ahead. And that's the final siren that ends the match of the day. Angerston, 16 goal, 13, 109. Keep their season alive, beating Kapunda, 8 goal, late, 56 on the Grant Burgewine scoreboard. I'd like to thank Brad Williams, the Kapunda under 17 coach and injured A grade player, for jumping in on the commentary today. Uh, thanks for having me, boys. And Angerston president Keith Jamison. Great that the clubs can supply us with people each week. I'd like to thank Sam Furler from 180 Creations if you want to get on his YouTube channel and follow some great sporting content from South Australia. And South Australian Footballer on Facebook. Follow us and keep up to date with the BLG. Thank you and we'll see you for next week's match of the round. South Gawler versus Angerson, I believe, at South Gawler. Another mini final in the final minor round of the game this season. Is that the live stream game, is it? Correct.